settlement. what time it is man you already know what time it is it is time for some no nonsense boxing i'm your host Tarek higgins ladies and gentlemen man we had a great week of boxing a great week of boxing man i am so excited to give you this news i hope y'all check these fights out man man whoo man i had a lot of predictions in these fights man and i'm some of our predictions were off. We had some upsets this, this week, man. This last this last week, we had some upsets. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, man. Listen, we had a great fight, man. Great, some great fights last week. Let me start off with this one, man. We had a we had an upset. The Phoenix Cavs versus the Denzel Billy fight for the uh, British Middleweight Championship. Man, Denzel, Denzel Billy did not even show up to this fight. The brother looked like he just wasn't in it. Wasn't in it. I already knew from the very beginning when I saw them in the ring, I said, oh, man. Denzel, you do not look like you're ready for this fight. Phoenix Cash, man, looked like he was ready. He was cut. I was like, oh, man. There's going to be upset. Now, like I said, man, I had a prediction of my boy Denzel Billy getting the win in four to five rounds. It looked like my prediction was wrong with this one, man. Like I said, man, for the, when, the first, when the fight first started, man, I knew it was going to be a problem. It was going to be a problem. Anyway, man, Phoenix Cash got a technical knockout on Denzel Billy, man. Uh, a third round TKO, man. Like I said, man, this Phoenix Cash guy, man, he he can box, man. He can box. He put the boy, he put him to work, man. He was stronger, quicker, everything. He, he had the, he had a game plan. Denzel Billy did not show up. Like I said, man, it was for the British middleweight championship. So Phoenix Cash. Got that belt that night, man. And look, man, he's looking to fight. He's looking to fight um uh Chris Eubank Jr. or Liam Williams. The way he looked, his physique, his skill level, I think he gives these guys some problems, man. So yeah, man, Phoenix Cash won the European Middleweight Championship. Next fight I want to talk about, man, is Emmanuel Navarrete versus uh Christopher Diaz, man. Emmanuel Neverett, man. I mean, this brother boy. Emmanuel Neverett came in and he came in as the champion, left out as a champion. Look, man, I predicted, I predicted the third or fourth round, t uh, third or fourth round knockout in this fight. Well, he didn't get the knockout exactly. Got a technical knockout, man. He got a 12th round technical knockout of Christopher Diaz. Emmanuel Neverett just he just outclassed him, man. There's levels to this game. Christopher Diaz was just was not ready, was not ready for this fight, man. Also, man, we had a fight with uh, Frank Martin versus uh, Jared Perez. It was a lightweight bout. Frank Martin still undefeated. Gave Jared Perez his first, his first loss, man. The first loss. Um, it was a seventh round knockout. Now, look, man, I predicted this one pretty correct. I, I predicted a sixth round knockout, but he got the, he got the seventh round knockout. Frank Martin was just too much for Jared Perez, man. Put the boy to sleep. Put him to sleep. Put him later on his back. Man, I was like, woo. <laughs> Yes, indeed, man. Frank Martin is still undefeated. Jerry Perez got his first, first loss against Frank Martin. Great fight. Y'all missed it. Also, we had another fight with Sandor Martin versus K. Prosper. Man, Sandor Martin still, still, man. Like I said, man, it's level to this, man. It's level to this, man. He just outclassed K. Prosper, man. He outclassed him. Got a 12th round unanimous decision across K. Prosper. Still on his still winning, still on his winning streak. Yeah, man, it was a great fight, man. You missed it. Also, man, another fight we had was Jelena Marzadonovich versus Erica Cruz Hernandez. Now, look, this was another one I, that caught me off guard because, look, man, Jelena, man, she has she has her, her, her record alone. She just she's, her, she, she just has a better record, has more, uh, more experience than uh, Erica Cruz Hernandez, but Erica Cruz Hernandez, man, she put Jelena to work. I mean, she worked her out. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, this fight was crazy, man. I mean, it was a uh, well, I'm gonna put it like this: it was a seventh round stoppage due to a a, a, a head a head uh, a cut, which they said it was a, a head clash. From what I saw, it was a punch that caused the, caused the cut. But anyway, they stopped in the seventh round, and uh, Erica Cruz and then there's one of the scorecards, all three scorecards, 70, uh, 70 to sixty three. And she is now the new WBA featherweight champion, women's featherweight champion. Now, like I said, man, I did not have that. I mean, I had, I had, I had, I had Jelena winning the fight, man. I thought she was gonna win the fight. Jelena, she, I mean, she fought, she fought, she fought the best she could, man, with the cut. I mean, blood was on her face, man. She, she, she tried to tough it out, man. She wanted to tough it out. It just, it didn't go, go her way, man. But anyway, man, I think she'll bounce back. But I did not see that happening. But Erica Cruz and Andes, man, she's now looking to fight Amanda Serrano. Amanda Serrano, okay? So look, man, look, man. That was that's the fights. That was the fights for last week, man. Great fights. We have another, we have another great, another great week of boxing, man. This next coming week is amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, man, until next time, man. Here I'm at No Nonsense Boxing. I'm your host, Terry Kiggins. Check it out. We'll have another video for y'all to let y'all know what's going on in the boxing game. And these fights is coming up this next week, man. I'm so excited about what's going on, boy. And anyway, man, I want y'all to be safe. Continue to support a brother. Continue to support me, man. Continue to support me. I'm not going to give you nothing fake. Just straight real news. 100% news. I'm not going to give you nothing that I don't know is going to happen for certain. I'm not going to tell you that. There's no nonsense boxing. I'm not going to give you no fake news. Just straight to the point. 100% boxing. And if I know it, it's going to happen. Anyway, y'all, take care. Love yourself. Until next time. And no nonsense boxing. Peace.